Hello friends, welcome back. In this video tutorial, we'll see what is EC2 Bootstrap script and how we can run commands at instance launch time. When you launch an instance in Amazon EC2, you have the option of passing user data to the instance that can be used to perform some kind of automated configuration tasks and even run scripts after the instance starts. So this is the easiest and most complete way to send instructions to an instance at launch. So what we are going to do, we'll install one Apache HTTP server and we'll copy some object from S3 bucket and run the web application. Okay, so let's start. Log into your AWS management console, go to EC2. We'll launch one instance, launch instances. Select Amazon Linux 2, T2 Micro. And here, just select one IAM role. Okay, I'm just giving an EC2 admin IAM role. And if you scroll down below in the advanced section, you can find in advanced details, you can find the user data so here in the user data section either you can give the commands or the script bootstrap script as a text or you can upload a file okay so i'm just going to write the bootstrap script it starts with the cbank character bin bus hope you are familiar with cell scripting okay so what I'm going to do next, I'm going to update the environment before I install the Apache server. Okay, so to update, I'm going to use yum update hyphen y and then going to install the server. Okay, yum install httpd server. Okay, y once we install the server we need that server to start okay to start the server we can use the command service okay sttpd start and the next we can we can do the check config to um, always make the server uh, to run when you reboot your system okay so you can write the check config httpd on so that when you reboot your system the httpd server will automatically start okay so now once we install the server we need to copy one file from the s3 bucket okay copy some object from the s3 bucket so what we can do just cd to the directory where we want to copy our www slash html so this is the root directory of the httpd server of the apache http server okay here we will put our index.html and the css files to make our web application run okay so let me copy uh, the command i'm going to use uh, like aws s3 cp i'm going to copy from the bucket bucket name is ranjit string okay and the file is ranjit dot png okay come to the current directory let me copy the index file as well from the bucket cp same thing you have to write ranjit string slash index dot html to the current directory okay so this that's all so what we did we uh, uh, first updated uh, the environment then installed httpd server and then started it after that what we did we copied few objects to the html directory so next we can add some storage Okay, I'm just giving the default storage 
add tax give a tag here name as I'm just going to give my web server okay and next configure some security group and here just select some existing security group or you can add or create new security group okay so select and make sure it would you have given firewall access to the HTTP protocol and the port 80 okay because we are going to access the application through HTTP okay if you don't give permission to this port 80 then you're not able to access the HTTP server okay so now review want to launch now launch the application select the key pair launch so it will take a few seconds to get our uh, system ready so just keep refreshing so here the instance is started running okay just click on the instance id copy the public ip and paste it on a browser okay see our application is now installed and started running we can see the web application is up and running right so in this way you can execute the commands during the instance launch hope you understand clearly how we can use the bootstrap script during the instance launch okay so if you have any doubt or any concerns please do comment uh, me in the comment section below so if you have not subscribed my channel please do subscribe you'll get notified when i add new videos on aws cloud or on devops thank you